Final crunch. So we start by lying on the floor with your knees bent, start with your feet together. Think about your neck position, so tuck your chin in slightly to your chest, keeping your head and neck nice and long. Going to dip now with your feet together, you're going to take your heels apart and toes apart, so your knees are in line with your hips. You can do a little um, pelvic tilt, so tilting the pelvis forward and back, so you're arching your back away from the mat, tilting back, flattening your back down. Do that two or three times, and then come to a stop in the middle, so somewhere in between, sort of perfectly flat and perfectly arched. So just thinking about drawing your abdominal core muscles in, so thinking about lifting your pelvic floor muscles up and just drawing your tummy button gently down towards your spine. With your hands, you can place your hands behind your head or just at your ears. Be really sure that you're not pulling on the back of your neck, keep your elbows nice and wide. If you start finding your elbows are coming in, you're probably pulling on your neck, so just again reset them, take them nice and wide. When you're doing your abdominal crunch, what you really don't want is for your tummy to dome. So as you lift up, think about drawing down the tummy and using that to lift you up nice and slightly and then gently down. I like to always think about my breathing when I'm doing these and I always breathe out with the effort. So breathing out as you crunch up and then breathing in as you gently lower down. And we're aiming for 100 sit-ups, you can do these in sets of 25, you can vary them slightly, so you can do 25 straight up lifts, and if you wanted to add some excitement, you could do a little lift, reach across to the opposite knee, bring the arm back, reach across to the opposite knee, bring the arm back, and then gently down. When you've finished your crunches, it's always nice to have a stretch out afterwards, so having a stretch Nice long full body stretch, reaching and stretching from the tips of your toes to the tips of your fingers. And then you can slowly bring knees into chest if you wish. And you can do a little circle on the mat, just massaging your back off as well, going in both directions. And then when you're done, one foot down, followed by the other. And you've completed your 100 sit-ups.